Mariano Jose, Maria Bernardo Fortuny y Marsal, commonly known as Maria Fortuny, was born on June 11, 1838, in Rius, Catalonia, Spain. Fortuny's early life was marked by both tragedy and promise. His father, a cabinet maker, died when Fortuny was a young child, leaving the family in financial difficulties. This loss profoundly impacted Fortuny and fueled his determination to succeed as an artist. Fortuny showed an early aptitude for drawing, and his talents were recognized and nurtured by his grandfather, who was a craftsman and a miniaturist. With his grandfather's support, Fortuny began his formal art education in Barcelona at the Escuela de Bellas Artes de Barcelona, Llotja School, where he studied under the guidance of renowned artists such as Claudio Lorenzali. In 1857, Fortuny's potential was acknowledged through a scholarship granted by the provincial government of Tarragona, enabling him to continue his studies in Rome. This move was pivotal in Fortuny's career, as Rome was then a vibrant hub of artistic innovation and a meeting point for artists from across Europe. His exposure to classical art, the Renaissance masters, and the works of contemporary artists significantly influenced his style. While in Rome, Fortuny formed connections with other young artists, including those from Spain and other parts of Europe, who were also seeking inspiration in the Eternal City. He began to develop a unique style that blended elements of Romanticism, Realism, and later, Orientalism. Fortuny's career took a significant turn in 1859, when he was commissioned to document the Spanish-Moroccan War by the government of Spain. This opportunity arose through his mentor, Federic de Madrazo, a leading figure in Spanish art circles. Fortuny traveled to Morocco in 1860, where he meticulously recorded the scenes of battle, the landscapes, and the people he encountered. The Moroccan experience was transformative for Fortuny. It exposed him to a new world of vivid colors, dramatic lighting, and exotic subjects. His sketches and studies from this period culminated in his masterpiece, The Battle of Tetuan, La Batalla de Tetuan, completed in 1862. This monumental work, characterized by its dynamic composition, intricate details, and vibrant palette, established Fortuny as a leading artist in Spain and beyond. The painting received critical acclaim and cemented his reputation as a master of modern historical painting. Following his success with The Battle of Tetuan, Fortuny continued to evolve as an artist. He spent time in various European cities, including Paris, where he was influenced by the burgeoning Impressionist movement. His works from this period exhibit a growing interest in capturing the effects of light and atmosphere, alongside a meticulous attention to detail. One of Fortuny's significant works from this period is The Spanish Wedding, La Vicaria, painted between 1868 and 1870. This genre painting, depicting a lively and detailed scene of a traditional Spanish wedding, showcases Fortuny's skill in rendering textures, fabrics, and the interplay of light and shadow. The painting was highly praised for its technical brilliance and became one of his most celebrated works. Fortuny's fascination with Orientalism continued to grow, fueled by his earlier experiences in Morocco. He traveled extensively in North Africa and Spain, creating a series of works that reflected his deep interest in the cultures, landscapes, and peoples of these regions. His Orientalist paintings, such as Arab Fantasia and The Odalisque, are notable for their rich colors, intricate details, and evocative portrayal of exotic subjects. In 1867, Fortuny married Cecilia de Madrazo, the daughter of his mentor, Federic de Madrazo, and a member of the illustrious Madrazo family, which included several prominent artists. The marriage brought Fortuny into close contact with an influential artistic and intellectual circle in Madrid and Paris. Cecilia herself was an accomplished painter, and their partnership was marked by mutual respect and collaboration. The couple had two children, a son, Mariano Fortuny y Madrazo, who would later become a famous designer and inventor, and a daughter, Maria Luisa. Fortuny's family life provided him with stability and a supportive environment that allowed him to pursue his artistic ambitions. Despite his success, Fortuny's later years were marked by a growing restlessness and a relentless pursuit of artistic perfection. He continued to experiment with different techniques and mediums, including watercolor, which he mastered to an exceptional degree. His watercolors, characterized by their luminosity and fluidity, 
are considered some of the finest examples of the medium. In 1874, while staying in Rome, Fortuny contracted malaria, a common and often deadly disease at the time. Despite the best efforts of his family and doctors, his health deteriorated rapidly, and he passed away on November 21, 1874, at the young age of 36. His untimely death shocked the art world and left many wondering what further heights he might have achieved had he lived longer. Maria Fortuny's impact on the art world extends far beyond his brief life. His innovative techniques, particularly in the use of light and color, influenced many contemporaries and future generations of artists. Fortuny's work is often seen as a bridge between the Romantic and Realist movements and the later developments of Impressionism. His attention to detail and ability to capture the essence of different cultures also had a lasting impact on the genre of Orientalist painting. Fortuny's works continue to be studied and admired for their technical brilliance, emotional depth, and artistic innovation. In recognition of his contributions to art, Fortuny's works are housed in major museums and collections worldwide, including the Prado Museum in Madrid, the Louvre in Paris, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Retrospective exhibitions of his work have been held to commemorate his legacy and introduce his art to new audiences. Fortuny's influence extended to his son, Mariano Fortuny Ye Madrazo, who became a renowned fashion designer and inventor, famous for his revolutionary textile designs and the creation of the Fortuny lamp. This continuation of artistic excellence within the Fortuny family further solidified Maria Fortuny's lasting legacy. Maria Fortuny's life and career, though tragically short, were marked by extraordinary achievements and an indelible impact on the art world. From his early days in Catalonia to his education and rise to fame in Rome, Fortuny's journey was one of relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. His ability to blend various influences and styles resulted in a body of work that continues to captivate and inspire. Fortuny's legacy as a master painter of historical scenes, genre paintings, and Orientalist works remains significant. His contributions to the development of modern art, particularly in his innovative use of light and color, ensure that his name is remembered alongside the great artists of the 19th century. Through his art, Maria Fortuny lives on, offering glimpses of the world as he saw it, and inviting us to share in his remarkable vision.